YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another banger. Today, we got a very special treat for you guys today. One of my favorite cigars, I smoke this all the time in heavy rotation. Placencia Alma Fuerte. We're gonna do it in the box press Salomon. Y'all hang tight, stay tuned, and we'll get to it. All right, you guys, so today we're gonna to be smoking the Alma Fuerte by Placencia, one of my favorite cigars. I did a review on the Alma Del Fuego uh, a little while ago and got a lot of flack for not liking that cigar. Actually, I believe it popped up on the top five of a lot of credible people's list, but again, man, it just, it just didn't hit me the right way. So I figured I'd do this review just to show that I do like Placencia cigars, man. But, and actually this cigar here is one of probably uh, I, I smoke this a lot, man. This is in a this is in heavy rotation, so I figured it would be honest and fair to just go ahead and do a review of it. I smoke so many of them, but again, that's not going to affect the score because if this one doesn't perform well, then obviously the score will reflect it. I remember when I first saw this cigar. You know, you guys know I'm a big Figueroa fan. I love like uh, nothing against Parejos because I like those too, but just they just look cool, man. You have Perfectos and. This is an uh, interesting shape too. It's considered a box press Salomon. Fairly big cigar, man. It's got a seven inch body. At its widest point, it's a 58 ring gauge. Beautiful cigar, got the pointed head, tapered foot on it. Just a really, really nice cigar. Again, I, I know some of you guys are probably watching like, man, when are you gonna review something cheaper? I'm, I'm gonna get there, but just a lot of the cigars I like, man, are just, they're just the cigars I like. This cigar isn't cheap. Fortunate for me on this cigar, I want to give a huge shout out to Tenderbox and Jeff and Lynn. This cigar was provided by them, so I didn't pay anything for it, but I've bought enough of them. Retail is around $21, I think around $22 in that area too. So again, not a cheap cigar, but the great thing about this one, you get a really long burn time and it's a, it's a all the ones I've had are very, very good. This cigar is offered in quite a few sizes. You have the Robusto, the Toro, the Box Press Salomon, and then you have a Hexagon which is a six by 60, but instead of just the, the uh, normal Parejo, the being just perfectly round, it's shaped like an actual hexagon. That is the only size of this blend that I haven't smoked just because I'm not really a fan of six by 60s, man. So it's just hard to pass up on this. Now, uh, this is a Nicaraguan Puro. Placencia has been growing tobaccos for over well over 150 years. They just started getting into making their own blends about four or five years ago. This is the second of the third of the Alma series that they have now. They'll be releasing two more blends for the Alma series, but again, uh, crazy, crazy nice looking cigar. It has tight invisible seams on this one too. It's not really toothy, but there is some bumpiness to it. It looks kind of rough, and you can see where they wrap uh, leaves around for the, the tapered foot in the head. It's just, it's nice. It's got a really dark chocolate tint to it. It has these three bands on it. I don't know, I feel like this band's kind of a bit unnecessary because I'm not gonna light the cigar with the band that close to it. So those automatically come off and then you have the Placencia logo and branding on the top part of it. But hey, we'll go ahead and uh, cut this up, light it up and we'll smoke it and we'll see what we got. Another thing with the, uh, another thing you'll run into with Salamones and like Perfectos, just like with Lancero, sometimes you'll have uh, draws that are a little rigid just because you see how narrow the bottom portion of it is, but all the ones I've had, they, they've been pretty good. So we'll hope for the best on this one. Perfect draw. Go ahead and take the foot band off. Today, man, I'm a, uh, this is, I'm paying homage to John Huber. Me and him both love uh, the Jeep lighters, but this, this lighter actually was given to me by my brother Don, man. So shout out to Don for giving me this lighter. I told him I use it on this video. So not a lot, like maybe a little bit of a chocolate, but just it just tastes like really good good clean tobacco that's all i'm really picking up we'll see how that goes great draw perfect amount of resistance not not too loose and not too tight is is perfect black pepper is about seven and a half around an eight out of ten when you retrohale it definitely opens up your cavity so if you're not used to retrohaling i wouldn't recommend retrohaling right away right now just a really clean earth 
a very light leather. I'm picking up a light leather. Not too much else going on, but it tastes tastes very good. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I'm, or I'm excited to be reviewing this cigar for you. Guys, I'm sure probably some of you have seen these out there and just probably hadn't pulled the trigger because of the price. So, But uh, we'll review this and we'll get to it. So I'm going to get into this first third. Kind of let you know about the body, flavor, strength, and everything like that. So you guys hang tight, stay tuned. I'll catch you at the end of the first third, probably very beginning of the second third. All right, so we're we're getting through this first third here. Very, very good start. Draw and construction are already at the highest marks. Haven't had it. And then what's impressive about it is not only is it box press, which a lot of people usually have some issues with box press cigars, but it was a um, a Salomon with the taper foot, so it's, from the beginning it's been completely performing at an elite level. From the first probably five to ten draws, you get a, lo a lot of black pepper, and the wood was in the form of like an oak. Well, now the oak has went out the way, and I know it's going to sound crazy, but there's almost like a mesquite flavor to it. You have a little bit of that soft leather that's still there, and you have a, a soft milk chocolate in there as well. So flavors have been very, very good. I'd say the body's around a medium, strength is around medium, flavors are nice, and I'd say medium to full. Very, very enjoyable right now. This, again, if like I mentioned in the Padron 80th anniversary uh, video, when you start getting above a $15, probably even a, actually around like a $12 cigar, you're paying a super premium price, so your draw should be good, construction should be good, everything should be good, so I can enjoy the cigar. I'm enjoying the cigar. I hadn't even thought about picking up the lighter to touch it up. Draw has been excellent. Placencia is knocking, they knocked it out of the park with this blend now. I don't know what happened with the Alma del Fuego. A lot of you guys like it still. Just didn't just didn't do it for me, but this was a home run. This to me is Placencia's best. I know a lot of people speak highly on the hexagon shape too. But again, that's just a little bit, the cigar is a little bit too uh, large for my liking. But this is right up my alley. Flavor profile is very good. I, I can't say enough high things about this. This is performing very good. So we'll get out this first third, get through the second third. I'll let you know of any strength, body, flavor changes, anything, all that good stuff. Y'all know how it is. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. I'll catch y'all in a little bit. All right, so the second third, I'm, I'm brushing on an hour smoking time. Still got plenty of cigar left. So like I was telling you guys, this is a very slow burner, which is a good thing. Flavor wise, much of the same as the first third, except the black pepper came back around, but it's not real, it's not real intense. It's just kind of in the underlying background and some creaminess kind of came in the background too, just kind of helping kind of diversify the other flavors. But hickory is still the most dominant flavor, still getting some milk chocolate, still getting some leather in that finish. Nice, uh, nice long leather finish is really good. Still burning like a champ, still the draw is still perfect. This is definitely gonna score well. All the other ones I've smoked in the past smoked fine. I just, of course, I like when I was telling you guys, when I review a cigar, I have to score the cigar that I'm currently smoking. So if this wouldn't have performed well, then the, the score would have reflected that. Even though it is a more expensive cigar, I believe these come in boxes of 10. I feel like this is a box worthy cigar. Probably something you're not gonna obviously smoke every day, but it's nice to have a box. Something kind of, you know, on a weekend or something like that, you know, you want to kind of pick up a little bit more of a special cigar. Definitely a winner here. Placencia knocked it out of the park. I, again, I still think that this is the best blend that they've come out with. I'm really uh, excited to see what the other two blends and what kind of shapes and sizes and stuff they come up with. But as you guys see, Burn Line has been not razor sharp, but nothing needing attention and the draw has been perfect. So the construction and the draw are both gonna get a 20 out of 20 off the top. And then I'll look at the complexity, flavor, and strength and you know, kind of go from there. Body's still about the same. You still got about a medium body. Flavors are still medium to full on the low side of that. It's still gonna be closer towards the medium than the full. And the strength again is a medium. No nicotine hit at all. This is just a very, very enjoyable cigar. I'm really satisfied with this. I probably easily got another 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes out of this. So I'll come back when I get closer to the end, give you guys the score and the breakdown so y'all hang tight. All right, so we're working our way through this last third. <clears throat> Still performing very good. Burn's been good. Ashes are falling off in nice thick clunks. Looking at that, got you a Nicaraguan Puro from Placencia, Alma Fuerte. Fantastic cigar. Burn, construction, everything's been, been up to par. This last third, uh, milk chocolate and the wood kind of changed the 
hickory flavor kind of fell back and now I'm getting like more of that oakiness and that black pepper is kind of coming to the forefront now. Been super solid. So now looking at what I gave it point wise, <clears throat> I gave the flavor a 18 out of 20. I gave the draw a 20 out of 20. The burn was a 20 out of 20. Complexity was a 17 out of 20 and strength was a 16 out of 20, which is going to give this cigar a 91 out of 100. So definitely elite, definitely box worthy. I have not, knock on wood, I haven't had a bad um, Alma Fuerte yet. Fantastic burns on all of them, fantastic draws. This is excellent, excellent cigar, which is even more impressive with that tapered foot because I smoked a lot of cigars, perfectos, Salamones where you'll light the cigar and they just will have wonky burns the whole time and you're kind of touching it up, kind of fighting it. Not the case here. So this score definitely warrants, you know, or it, this cigar definitely is to be rewarded for such an elite performance. With that being said, $22 is not cheap, but definitely, definitely, definitely a great cigar. So if you're at your local tobacco store or you're online and you're thinking about pulling the trigger, Go ahead, I'm going to co-sign it. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a very, very, very good cigar, elite cigar. With that being said, man, this was the Placencia Alma Fuerte. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. You guys don't forget to be driven, never motivated. And y'all know the name of the game, relaxation and enjoyment. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.